for question one. Again, this is going to do with water and everything absorbing the red colored water. So your tubes involved will be water carrying tubes. Again, they said that they actually observed the stains on the cross section of the stem. What can you infer from this observation? The observation is what can you see? Yeah? Okay, what can you see? So what can you see here? Observe that the, the leaves are stained red. That means the roots will have absorbed the water, right? Red colored water. And you will have transported up the water carrying tubes to the leaves and to other kinds of plants. So you all of you choose number two. B and D, let's see. B and D means parts of the stem is colored red transport water. Okay, correct. And then the last one is D, parts of the stem colored red is connected to the leaves. Parts of the stem colored red is connected to the leaves. Yep. So the, of course A is out because not the leaves do not need red food coloring. Okay, the leaves only need water. And the C is out because the Red stains are not because of the food made by the leaves. So if you're right, answer is two. Think on it, Isabel. Question for number two. I mean, answer for number two. One week later, the leaves and the petals turn blue. Okay, so everybody chose four. Colored water has been transported to the flowers and leaves. You are right. Fantastic. Answer is four. Okay, next. Question three. Similar picture, right? But different question, huh? Uh, answer is two. Okay, I see it. Okay, so both of you got the same answer for question three. Your all of, all of your answer is two. So let's see, is it correct? Two is B only. That means A is wrong. Stem has tubes that transport water downwards. Lincoln, why is this wrong? The water comes from the roots, not from the leaves. Leaves bring down fluid from the leaves. But uh, they say the stem yeah. has tubes that transport water. What? Correct what? Yeah, but downwards, upwards. Okay, correct. So this is the wrong word, lah. Correct. So this one is supposed to be upwards. Upwards. Okay, then Isabel, why is C wrong? Part of the stem which is colored red transport food to the leaves. The food, the water is transported. Yes, correct. So answer is is wrong because he said that it's supposed to be water, not food. Okay, so this is wrong. Correct. Yeah. Good. Answer is B. I will ask for why you didn't choose that option also. Huh? So it's make sure you know why you didn't choose that option. Okay, question four, not easy also. What's the answer? They say that they will produce orange, will she obtain orange flower? Okay, now I got two different answers. Will she obtain an orange flower? Let's say uh, I got this water carrying tubes, right? Okay, water carrying tubes, water, water is inside uh, the shaded ones. Okay, so if I were to cut the stem into half, ching, 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 I cut up. Uh, so if I cut the stem into half and I split the stem into two and then I put one side onto one color, the other side onto the other color. Are the tubes, can the tubes mix? They, they split this tube, what? They split the stem, right? The stem is one stem, right? So if I split the one stem into two, two sides, the tubes, are they mixing? The water carrying tubes, are they mixing together? Do they mix? They don't, right? So the red color- Answer change three. Okay, so the red colored water will remain as red colored water. The yellow colored water will remain as yellow colored water. The yellow colored water will go up these tubes here on the left side, and the red colored water will go up these tubes here on the right side. So at the end, your flower will not turn orange uh, because they don't mix at all. Okay, so it's supposed to be, will she obtain an orange flower? No. So both of you are wrong. Eh? Because they will not mix at all. The tubes, when they cut, is both different tubes. So what is the answer? Answer is three because two colored water tubes are separate by water carrying tubes and food coloring do not mix at all. Okay, that's the reason why you have your flower will become red and yellow. It will not become orange. Next, here we have the blanks here, right? This is called transport of water or food. Food or water can I? Okay, food and or water. Basically, you have to know the direction as to where food is being transported and water is being transported. Isabel, how is water transported? Lincoln, how is food transported? Food is transported from the leaves down. Only down, huh? Yeah, I forgot. And up, right? Yes, both sides, huh? How about Isabel? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I because 
for some leaf in the center, like like yes. not so high. Just so they go up and go down. Correct. Isabel, why? How is water transported until now? Quickly. What? How is the water transported? Okay, she's typing. Water okay, up. very good. It's always upwards, huh? Upwards from the roots to the stem through the water carrying tubes to other parts of the plants. Okay, so here we have the dotted lines of water, right? So of course, it's not easy or so, what's the answer? Okay, so uh, what will the answer is for? That means you are saying that A, B is the roots because definitely B gives out the water. So B has to be the roots, okay? The one that gives out the food, which is C, must be your leaves. Gives out the food. Food is solid line. Okay, so answer is four, correct. 